Hello everyone, welcome to a new game called Inner Silence. This is a, a, a 2D platformer. Um, not particularly that difficult. Having said that, uh, when I looked at everyone else's YouTube videos, no one had actually completed it. Everyone had rage quit. Uh, basically here is the part where everyone rage quit. Um, and this is going to be a edited run uh, with all my death scenes taken out. Having said that, um, I had completed the game within 20 minutes, in all honesty. If you were going to do a perfect run with no deaths, you're, you're looking at about a 10, 10 minute run through. Um, so I, 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 I kind of did get into this game, um, because it adds mechanics as the further you go along. And I was traveling in, I, I was a player um, going where no players have gone before, <laughs> other than the developer, of course the developer had, uh, um, seen the ending. Um, so the developer is Volan Nolan's Games, I'm not sure if he's the developer or if he just bought the Steam rights off the developer. Uh, there's no in-game credits and as we all know, usually if there's no in-game credits, it means it's a scam product. I wouldn't actually call this a scam product. Um, it's $1.50 on Steam, uh, $0.75. Cents. Now, usually what publishers do, they uh, put their games at $1.50 because they uh, frequently have 50% sale so that they can sell their game at $0.75. Cents. And that is what sells the game. Um, it's a 20 minute game which will uh, uh, I guess a good 20 minute babysitter um, if you want to get your child into um, hardcore uh, platforming um, this is a, a, an easy way or if you want to um, slowly build up your confidence into platforming this is I guess a way to do that um, the other thing is that it has five achievements all achievements work uh, and the game works. There's nothing, uh, so basically if I was to die, I would reappear where that building was. Um, every time you go past a building, a uh, safe building, you just, that's where you respawn. Um, if you notice on me exiting on the ceiling of a uh, map, and when I come into, enter into a map, I'm always going to be on the floor. Um, that's not me editing that's the actual just the mechanics of the game like um oh no i came through you'll see it uh, eventually um what else can i say about this game not really much to say about it it's uh, it's just um just an easy platformer really um you just flip gravity um i can't remember how you flip gravity um the controls at the start anyway uh, there's not much eye candy, there's pop plants, and but the eye candy is suitable, it gives that retro f f look about it, and, um, and um, it was a bit short, I wanted, oh, I wanted it a bit more, especially when uh, they, uh, they gave the, uh, they um, introduced the electric fence mechanic, I, I was really, I was really uh, chuffed with that, because I'd never seen a YouTube video on it, as I said, no YouTube video ever went that far they all race quit before they even get there uh, so you uh, will be one of the lucky few that actually see the end of this game wow feel privileged guys um, we're about uh, we're nearly halfway through the game already um, we are going there I don't know why there's UFOs but there's apparently UFOs Walking around. There's not really any story. I don't know if this game really needed a story. Uh, there's no special pickups, or uh, I don't think there's any secret areas to explore. Um, uh, all I did was uh, follow the path, the intuitive path. There are a couple areas you could divert off to. I don't think there's anything special. Uh, I could be wrong, but I just didn't. Didn't even eat buffered looking. This area, this uh, is probably one of the hardest moves. There's a very little room for error there. Um, some of the jumps, there's very little room for error. Uh, so you need the save points. free, And the save points are frequent. 
I never had to go long, long distances. And uh, some parts you can fall through the map, and other parts, if you're not supposed to fall through, you'll just respawn and die straight away. Um, half the half the problem solving is knowing on which side you need to approach the obstacle from. And ultimately the whole game is just you against obstacles. We're now introduced to an eyeball. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm not sure what was used to make this. Um, there's a bit of a, a, just a bit of a sample of the eye candy. Uh, but it was all pretty basic. So we're uh, probably over the halfway mark now. Um, it's introducing us to a key and um, a key and lock uh, gate or door um, mechanic that's often frequent in indie games. Um, uh, most of them dress it up differently, but it's uh, essentially that's what majority of games are: collect the key, unlock a door. That's pretty much it, um, and that's what we do. Here, uh, what else can I say? So again, it's pretty much a majority of the same thing. There's one, only one soundtrack. It just loops constantly. Um, it will. It's it's groovy soundtrack. It's fitting, but it'll probably get on your nerves. There's no way to turn it down. Um, um, this actually is a quite a difficult jump. Some of, some of them were, um, uh, but I found the game quite easier the further I went along, and so, uh, some of it, like, oh, here's the electric fence, I love this, this is my favourite part, when I came came to the electric fence, it sold the game for me, I was like, wow, what's next, They're like, this is cool, and, um, unfortunately, it just abruptly finishes, uh, he kind of ran out of ideas after the electric fence, unfortunately. Uh, which uh, which uh, sucks. Uh, I would have uh, I would have loved loved this park to continue. I don't know why I like the electric fence. I think it's just the um, the aesthetics of it, uh, and it made me feel like I was breaking into a, a really secret uh, base. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just just suddenly clicked. Uh, I got got in the jive of it, and uh, unfortunately, just as I get in jive. It just finishes and I was like oh okay um, it, uh, now it's, it's so far I've got positive comments there's not many discussions about the game um, there's not much to say about the game um, but it's got a few negative comments I don't know why um, there's not much to it but it works and it's you buy it for 75 cents what do you expect for 75 cents nowadays um, I've seen a lot more scams for even 75 cents. Um, I've seen worse free games. Um, so I wouldn't call this a scam by any means. Um, but I do understand people's, uh, hesitation, um, about this and, and I'll go I'll go on about the developer at the end of the video will expose who who the person is behind it um, and that's we're coming to the end now guys so again you can be excited you're going to see it for the first time um, no youtuber has committed themselves to <laughs> <laughs> to to see what hundred percent what this game has to offer, so I'm about to settle your curiosity once and for all. Here we are. Just got to drop at the right time on that. Um, as I said, whenever you go into a map, enter into a map, you always enter uh, from the floor, no matter even if you exit on a ceiling. Uh, I think this might be very close to the last room. No? We're very close. Believe me. We're close. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've got one more really crazy room after this one. 
Um, but as I said, generally speaking, I found it easier and easier um, to, to, to go. Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be the nice guy. I'm not sure what's going on. And the one color aesthetic actually works on this. I uh, don't mind that at all. Um, I think it was here actually. So just after this second bubble, this this one here, this, I I did get it, but it was a bit crazy. And um, that's it. Well, we're very close to being it. Only me. This, the end sh end screen's gonna appear real soon. This is gonna get go bang. And that's it. Congratulations, you won presenter, and it goes back to the start. That's that that's basically all that happens. There's no credits. So this is Inner Silence. This is cheerful 2D platformer, mostly positive reviews. Fallen Nolan's games. Um, there's no um, scammy, uh, false misleading. It's a dollar fifty. There's no false misleading information or anything on the store page. It's pretty pretty legit. Um, it's got eight point shops and five uh, Steam achievements. They all unlock. So let's uh, look at who this guy really um, is. Let's go to his website, Volan Nolan's Games. This is his website. A bit about us, a game developer and publisher on Steam. We are engaged in a promotion and support of Steam games. Have been working since 2015. More than 30 games published and promoted. More than 10 developer partners. So this is kind of very similar to how Dagestan technology used to work. What do we offer? We buy old Steam games that no longer bring profit to the developer. Sometimes it happens that games don't accept the revenue for the last year at all. Uh, then we somehow agree on a price with the developer and buy it. Uh, we modernize traffic here with marketing methods. We optimize the page in Steam and we re-promote Steam games for our future profit. We are only talking about the version of the game that is in Steam. The copyright of the game on the other platforms remains with the game developer. We do not need the source code of the game if the developer has lost it. We do not need future support from the developer if the developer cannot provide it. If the developer wants to leave his auth authorship on the page, we do not remove it. Uh, basically, this is how you do that. You basically uh, uh, enter the email address uh, of the person that you want to initiate the transfer to. Um, the recipient, therefore, um, approves that. Yada, yada, yada. Steam gets involved. will review the transfer. Um, again, you have to, again, uh, reauthorize it. Um, if there are questions about the reasons for the transfer, we will email the actual authority users to obtain more information. Transfer complete once approved. All management rights transfer to the new partner. Um, and so that's basically how they work. It still doesn't say who this developer is. We don't know if uh, he's just a publisher or if he actually made Inner Silence. This is some of the games he's bought. As I said, very similar to Dagestan Technology. Some of these are very questionable games. Uh, let's look at to who this guy really is. So I dug a little bit closer and the guy is... Volan Nolan Games is really this guy, Kirill Grandin. Um, this is him here. Um, so he kind of likes to live bit of a lavish lifestyle. He's from Moldova. Uh, I don't know why some developers do this. Even Dagestan Technology used to do this. Used to uh, publish pictures of themselves living a lavish, luxurious lifestyle off the hard-working money of others. Um, not that he's done anything wrong. Look, as I said, it's a 20-minute game. Um, or it works. It's, and it's only 75%. It isn't like Dagestan technology. Having said that, I've only experienced this one product. I can't say for the rest. I've looked at some of the others. So I understand why some people are very skeptical. Um, at this point in time, having seen a working product, I can't call this guy a scam artist or anything like that. But um, it does raise alarm bells. 
When he says he's got 20 develop, uh, 10 developers, um, probably some of these people more than likely. Uh, that's basically it. Just people who have put it, put in rubbish and just sold it. Um, so whether he fixes it up or uh, does, you know, uh, um, does things with it, I'm not really sure at this point in time. So this is his um, LinkedIn account. You can see that he's actually a game developer for Nido Studios. I haven't really looked at that. And again, he's uh, from Moldova, so he's... Yeah, this is what he looks like in real life. And again, he likes to put these lavish photos of. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say that's his boat. He's probably just standing next to a boat, saying, "That is my dream <laughs> boat. This is what I'm going to." I don't know why developers do that. Um, it's not how I would sell a company. Anyway, until next time. Bye for now.